There's an old adage that says, what you cannot measure, you cannot manage. For example, what if you could accurately measure all of the nitrogen in your soils? We joined Dr. Rick Haney in Temple, Texas to talk about his breakthrough research in this area. Well, <clears throat> microbes are alive in the soil and we've ignored that for a long time. Uh, microbes take in O2 just like we do. We breathe in oxygen and they breathe, in, breathe out CO2. Microbes do the same thing. The harder we work, the more CO2 we release. The harder they work, the more CO2 they release. It's a very similar thing. So in, back in graduate school in 94, we were looking at Alan Franz Lugers was showing me this equation that he thought he developed in, about CO2 and soil respiration. He was doing 21, 24, 36 days uh, incubation studies. And he, he thought, using some algorithms, because Alan's way smart, <laughs> that he said, he brought me in, I'll never forget it, because he brought me in there and he said, I think we can do this quicker than a long a three week incubation based on this algorithm I've developed. And so I said, I'll tell you what, I'll start measuring it. I'll start doing a one day CO2 and a three day CO2. Yep. And we'll see if that, if what you think is right. Yes. And sure enough, it was. Then we started correlating one day CO2 with laboratory nitrogen mineralization in three or four weeks. And we saw these phenomenal relationships. Yes. We were like, that can't, that can't be. Because we were shocked that you could take a soil and dry it and re-wet it, trap the CO2. And we, and we kept seeing that these soils that had higher CO2 were more fertile soils because these were soils we knew. The first paper I wrote was showing that, that relationship and yes. plus that it had different uh, amounts of dairy manure applied. I mean, the R squareds were phenomenal. The relationships were phenomenal and it was rejected. It was my first attempt at writing. It was my first attempt at publishing and they just rejected it. And the reason was, and I'll never forget this, the guy said, you can't do that, that's too simple. That was what he said in his review. Mm -hmm. You can't okay. do that, it's too simple. It's too simple. Okay. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you ever heard of E equals MC squared? That's a fairly <laughs> <Real> simple. simple. <laughs> yeah. I thought the data was what was important. It's not always about the data. It's, it's, it, people have preconceived ideas about what science is and what numbers mean. Okay. And sometimes their change is very, very difficult, I found, in science. When I started to understand what one day CO2 was doing and how these microbes, what they were trying to tell me, I thought, wow, in three or four years, everybody's going to be doing this test. Here we are 15 years later. Mm -hmm.